Welcome to Dr. B Music Theory, Ear Training Edition number six. The answers, do not watch this video before you've attempted the video that gives you the quiz and tests you on this knowledge. So after you, since you've done that, let's begin. Simple intervals, number one was a perfect fourth, number two was a minor six, number three was a minor third, and number four was a tritone. Number five was a major six, descending. Six was a perfect octave. Seven was a minor seventh. And eight was a perfect fifth. Number nine was a major second. Number 10, a major seven. 11, a minor second. And 12, a major third. For the triads, the first one was an augmented triad. Augmented triads, out of context, are always in root position. Uh, and I doubled the, the bass note, so to, to emphasize that. Um, and I guess I probably shouldn't say always, but for the most part and for the purposes of what we're doing here, that's the way it's always going to be. Number two was a minor triad in second inversion. Three was a major triad in first inversion. And four was a minor triad in root position. Number five was another augmented triad. Number six was a minor triad in first inversion. 7, a diminished triad in first inversion, and 8, a major triad in second inversion. For our root position 7th chords, number 1 was a minor minor 7, 2 was a diminished minor 7, 3 was a major minor 7, 4 was a diminished diminished 7, 5 was a minor minor 7, 6 was a major major 7, 7 was a diminished diminished 7, 8 was a major major 7, 9 was a diminished minor 7, and 10 was a major major 7. For our melody in B flat major, Do, Mi, Sol, Sol, La, Ti, Do, Re, Ti, Sol, La, Ti, Sol, Do, Sol, Sol. Fa, mi, re, mi, re, do, ti, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, sol, mi, re, mi, sol, do. And that was the pitches for the melody. Uh, I'll write in the solfege. Uh, we can write in do, mi, sol, sol. Now keep in mind that this could you could also use numbers. You could call it one, three, five, five. In both of these cases, uh, you are you are using uh, movable dough, or when you're using numbers like this, you're essentially doing the same thing. And there are people who use fixed dough, where C is always dough, and that's good for kind of keeping track of modulations and sonata form and things like that. Uh, but but using movable dough or numbers to indicate the function is really good at kind of keeping track and getting your ear to kind of hear how things relate within a singular key. So that's what we're using here. Uh, and we're I'm putting all this in here. So on the second line, we've got fa, mi, re, mi. Re, do, and then a scale. So when you hear something fast, don't, don't immediately get worried. It might be just a scale, which hopefully you're already picking out and hearing that as a unit as opposed to a bunch of separate notes. You hear that as, oh, that's up a scale. Oh, that's down a scale. Same is true with triads. Hopefully you're going to be able to hear those as well as units as opposed to individual notes. That's the goal of what you're going to be working towards. So. There it is with movable solfege. Let me play that one more time for you. So you can kind of, now that you see it, you can really see if you can hear it. Again, we got do, mi, sol, sol, la, ti, do, re, ti, sol, la, ti, sol, do, sol, sol, fa, mi, re, mi, re, do, ti, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, sol, mi, re, mi, sol, do. 
and I urge you to sing all those. Take a look at this, pause it if you need it, because I'm going to erase this top line so we can move on to looking at the harmonic dictation. But as I'm putting that up, it's really, really good to sing through everything, play, play stuff on the piano. It will really help you um, cement some of these ideas and, and these connections that you're trying to make. So for harmonic dictation, we're writing out the bass line. This first one is in C major. The very, very first pitch was a C, so it was a root position one chord. It then jumped down to an F, which was a 2-6 chord. It stepped up to a G, which was a 1-6-4. Some, some music theory people will call this a 5-6-4, and the 6-4 is like uh, upper neighbors that resolve to 5 in root position. So you could see this as all, you know, 5-6-4-5-3. dash five, three. You might see it like that. Don't get confused. Two different ways. Uh, both, both of them are used. And then resolving deceptively to a six chord. Resolving deceptively to a six chord. So let me play that for you so you can hear it. Um, here we go. This is uh, um, in C major. We went from one to two six, one six four. Six. And when practicing and working with my students, I often use what I call super bass, where I just repeat the bass note. Because the hardest thing to do is pick out that bass note. And that's your, the secret to hearing these, these chords. So super bass, by repeating the note, it makes it really stick out. So here is it with super bass. Second example was in F major. The very first note was an A. So it is a one chord in first inversion. The next note was a B flat. It was a four chord in root position. Then we have a G, a two chord in root position, followed by another G, a seven diminished triad in first inversion, and ending with an F a one chord in root position. Keep in mind, there's a couple things that you're, you know, that with certain bass notes, there's only one option, right? So I told you it's either going to be a one, one or a one six. When you hear the A, it's got to be one six. When you hear this B flat, you actually have a choice in terms of like theoretically. It's either a four chord in root position or a two chord in first inversion. So this is kind of like where you use your theory to say, well, what would be the most logical? So it, this could have been 2-6 to 2 in root position. And the way you distinguish is by saying, okay, when you get to this chord, is it a major triad, in which case it's 4, or is it a minor triad, in which case it would be 2. So using the your ability to, to differentiate between major and minor triads, or sometimes diminished triads, will help you process of elimination, figure out what the right Roman numeral should be. So let me play this one for you. So here we go, we're in the key of F major. We start with one six, four, two, seven diminished six, one. And now with super bass. So I hope you did great. I hope you got 100. I hope you aced this. If you didn't, don't worry. Practice. You play the piano, sing, work on it. Give yourself a week. Come back, take the exam, the quiz again, and see if you've done better. I'm sure you will. You should be getting better every time you practice these things. And, 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 and diligence will pay off. Best wishes.